Oh, Mikael. Damn. I wish I'd have seen that show. Because, you know, I like watching the Tyra Banks show because I like to see how big her titties is that day. Because, you know, she got these big ass titties and shit and big old ass. And some days it look like she ain't got no ass. And then some days it look like she got hella ass and hella titties and shit. So really the content of the show, I really don't give a rat's ass about. But anyway, this was interesting. Moms that smoke weed. Now, uh, I think I, I agree with it. It's just I only have one exception, and that's my boy. That's my boy's sister. I can't mention no names because this is on YouTube, so I can't mention no names, but... All, all all she did was just smoke weed and get high and stay in the house and watch Jerry Springer all day. So, uh, and then her kids ran away twice and CPS took her kids and they wound up staying with their great grandparents. But anyway, she the exception to the rule. Now, now, Mikhail, you, you know that, that Anna is a we kind of saw, and you know she still handled her responsibilities and made sure that her kid go to school up until he was about sixteen, and she met me, and then due to the fact that back then I was making a lot of money, she started smoking a lot more weed and started uh, neglecting her obligations to her her son, and he wound up down there flunking out of school, so. If you're going to be a soccer mom that smoke weed and you single, how about this? Um, let the man know that wants your phone number, that uh, you have a weed smoking minimum and not to pass it because if you pass it, you know, Pass it past the ma up to the maximum that you might turn into an irresponsible mom. <laughs> I'm sorry I said that, but that shit needed to be said. I don't know if Anna going to see this shit, but if she do, look, it's your fault you stuck in Vegas because you smoke too much fucking weed. And it's your fault that your son ain't shit because you smoke too much fucking weed. And that's just the way the fuck it is. And Elston, if you see this, you need to get your black ass back in school, play some motherfucking basketball, and that's on some real shit. I mean, damn. I used to smoke a lot of weed, but at some point I just was like, damn. I don't like smoking weed. And the only reason why I don't like smoking weed is because... Call it what you want to call it. I'm a fucking alcoholic. I mean, we just don't last long enough. I mean, it needs to be a time where you can, you can take two hits and be high for like eight, nine hours. You take two hits now, you be high for like 20, 30 minutes and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, man. If I'm going to pay all this fucking money on the goddamn herb, I want to be high all motherfucking day. I don't want to be high for no... 10, 15 minutes, and then got to smoke all my shit up, and then got to come see your punk ass, and then your punk ass going to fake on me, and then I'm mad as fuck because you didn't faked on me, and I can't have no weed for that day, so that's why, you know, I start smoking weed, but anyway, to the moms that stoners and stuff like that, and moms that don't smoke weed, listen to Mikhail, smoke some weed, and get the shit fucked out of you, okay? Because, Mikhail, that's probably what's wrong with them. They, they need the shit fucked out their ass. They need to get real high and real loaded. And then they need 10 inches deep down in their pussy until they pass out. Now, once they done had that, that combination of the two, shit. Next time they go on the Tyra Banks show, they'll be the soccer mom that's a stoner. I wasn't trying to be funny, but if that shit sounded funny, go ahead and laugh. But, it, you know, it wasn't, I, I, I wasn't trying to 
mean that to be funny or anything like that, you know, but uh, to the soccer moms that do smoke weed, and as long as you functional, and you keep your kids in school, and you keep your kids active, and you keep your kid, you keep your kids getting good grades, and they become productive citizens in this society. I'm all for it. Now, as far as giving weed to your, giving a weed card to your kid at 16, that may not be the wisest thing to do, because. Uh, well, when you start smoking weed at a young age, you turn out you turn out to be a butthead. And I know a lot of cats that's buttheads out here right now that I grew up with start smoking weed at 11, 12, 13 years old, and they ain't be a shit with their life. So you soccer moms that's out there giving your weed, giving weed, giving your weed to your kid and getting them cannabis club cards, you's a stupid bitch. Because you know why? You're going to be stuck with that motherfucker for the rest of your motherfucking life. This motherfucker going to be laying up in your house eating potato chips, weighing about 400 pounds, watching Jerry Springer get high all motherfucking day and ain't did shit with his motherfucking life. His or her motherfucking life. And that's the fuck you stuck with because you gave this motherfucker some damn weed too motherfucking young. You want to give your kids some weed when they 21, 22, that's fine. As long as they're out your house and they got their own shit, then that's cool. Let them smoke all the weed they want. But 16, 17, 15, 14, you stupid bitch. Quit giving your kids some weed. Give them some alcohol. Let them drink themselves to a frenzy. I guarantee you, they won't fuck with alcohol no more. But weed... Ain't no way nobody can smoke themselves into a frenzy because me personally, I ain't never heard of a motherfucker dying from an overdose of weed. So anyway, that's my take on the subject. That's what I think. And uh Yeah. The tire brace wasn't married. I worked that ass. So she showed me what she's working with. Tad up. I holler.